Recent Supreme Court activity has provided powerful affirmation and confirmation of many of the powerful uh, planning, uh, tax planning tools that the uh, Bridgeford Trust Company has been involved with uh, really since our inception. And what makes these court cases so particularly compelling at this point in time is because state tax planning has become a particularly hot topic uh, in light of changes in the federal tax code. So the timing of these court cases uh, couldn't be any better. In June 2019, the court issued its decision in the Kasner case, uh, which was very important on several levels because it's the first case, actually it's the first tax case coming out of the Supreme Court in 60 years. Uh, but the court was specifically analyzing an issue that has been percolating around the United States uh, for several years. And that issue is very simply, does a state uh, have the constitutional authority to tax undistributed income inside of a trust that's properly situst or properly in a jurisdiction like South Dakota that does not have a state income tax? Bridgeford has been tracking this case for quite some time and we've been telling our advisors and, and the advisor community about this development. And we're very excited to report that as anticipated, the court's decision it was very consistent with where Bridgeford thought it would go. In fact, Bridgeford felt so strongly about this that we uh, committed uh, to fund an amicus brief uh, along with uh, other trust companies uh, in support of the taxpayer, which we believe had an impact on the court's decision. So what was the ruling? In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court held that it was unconstitutional for North Carolina to tax undistributed income inside of a trust that was properly cited in a jurisdiction that did not have a state income tax, which was a resounding win, not only for the taxpayer, but for the trust industry overall. The court focused its analysis on really a narrow question as to whether the beneficiary's presence and domicile in North Carolina was enough to establish nexus such that uh, the state could tax undistributed income. And again, in the unanimous decision, it was not enough to establish nexus under the, under the Constitution. And subsequently, we now know and we now have guidance that just a beneficiary's mere presence in a state will not trigger that state's ability to tax undistributed income. Also, in June of 2019, the court provided additional guidance on this very issue by denying cert in a, yet another very important tax case called Fielding. The Fielding case looked at the very same issue as to whether or not there was enough nexus with Minnesota such that Minnesota would be permitted to tax undistributed income under the Constitution. In the Fielding case, the issue there was domicile of the settler, unlike in Kasner where the issue was domicile of the beneficiary. And the court, applying the same constitutional analysis that the Supreme Court applied uh, in the Kasner case, concluded that domicile of the settler was not enough to establish enough nexus uh, if, with that state such that uh, Minnesota could tax undistributed income inside a trust that was properly cited outside of the state. When considered together, these cases give us tremendous guidance. And we know definitively now that just the domicile of the settler or the beneficiary in a particular state will not trigger nexus or appropriate nexus to justify taxation of undistributed income. And again, affirms very, very powerful planning that Bridgeford Trust Company has been involved in uh, over the years. Bridgeford Trust Company has been talking about this issue for years and participating in extremely sophisticated state tax planning uh, based on principles that were just affirmed and confirmed by the Supreme Court. So there's a wealth of information on the website uh, and through our social media outlets. Uh, and so we encourage you to review that information, which has become more compelling uh, and timely now than ever. For more information, please feel free to contact us through the website or contact me directly. I would love to talk to you about some of the powerful planning techniques that we've been using, as well as powerful asset protection and privacy provisions that we can bring to the planning process.